This is the worst thing that sleep apnea can do to your skin, and it's not the baggy eyes, it's not loose skin, it's not even psoriasis, which that has increased risk. It is something far more sinister that can basically take your life away from the inside out. What you need to know is when you have sleep apnea, you have two major things going on that lead to this disease. Number one is way less melatonin. Melatonin is your sleep hormone. When you don't sleep well because of sleep apnea, it will lower this and cause cancer cells to form in your skin. And then number two is increasing inflammation, which will again lead to more cancer cells. And not just any skin cancer, but arguably the worst skin cancer, melanoma. So they did this study long-term, blah, 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 blah. And what they found was that people with sleep apnea who were not using a CPAP or being treated well at all had a two and a half times higher risk, which would be 250% higher risk of developing melanoma. So if you have sleep apnea, you're still tired, symptomatic, two and a half times more the risk of melanoma. Now, here's the thing. That does not mean to avoid the sun all willy nilly because the other big problem with sleep apnea are low vitamin D levels because that will prevent you from lowering the inflammation. So disclaimer, health education, talk to your doctor, sun exposure, healthy, sensible sun exposure where you're not getting burned is going to be very helpful and even more helpful because if you could just breathe better at night, that would definitely make things a lot easier. If you want help with that, apneareset.com forward slash thrive to get the world's best, probably the world's best, I haven't looked around the world, <laughs> breathing protocols customized to you. Check it out.